What is going on everyone? This is Yixi at Magna Crypto back again with another video. In today's video, it's just going to be quick market breakdown. The market is starting off with a bang. We're going to look at Ethereum, Bitcoin and Polkadot. Is it finally time for Ethereum to break that $2,000 barrier? Let's find out. So if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel and like this video. Also, if you want to learn the fundamentals of crypto, fundamental analysis, technical analysis, I've got a free course link for that is in the description. And also, if you want to join my private Telegram group where I give more daily charts, technical, anal technical analysis, link for that is also in the description. With that out of the way, let's get straight into the market. So... <clears throat> As mentioned yesterday, I was looking for potential retest of the previous high, potentially if it continued on going towards 1430, if it did not rem remain above this key level. But looking, and this was on the daily time frame that I was looking at it. So looking at again, sorry. So this level over here, this low that was at 16, 1600, if it held, then we could potentially continue pushing on but it was wicking quite a lot yesterday in the last two days sorry so potentially it was looking to retest 1430 and then go on the uptrend once again but then looking at it from a four hour time frame this actually looks like a an ascending inverted scallop as i've mentioned with polkadot previously and the key characteristic of this move is that it needs to hold the 50% level on the Fibonacci, which it has done. If that is the case, that you can draw this Fibonacci and if it's respecting it, then you can look towards this extension of 20, 0.27 and then the 618 and the 786. So we could see targets of finally 2000 plus being met. Now, let me give you another quick example of uh, a perfect inverse ascending scallop we can look none other than polka dot right here as you can see exact same structure you've got the the j upside down but reversed and you've got that beautiful rounding formation and from here you can draw a fibonacci so same again no closure below the the 0.5 level it holds, actually we might be able to pull this down here. It holds perfectly and it continues on hitting these levels. As you can see, it hit the 786 perfectly at the top and carried on. So that's what I'm seeing with Ethereum right now. Let's go back to the full hourly. Now that we've seen another example, you can see the round information. It's not quite a perfect round top, but you can see it. And that's rejecting the 0.5 and is going to continue on. So I can really see Ethereum hitting those targets finally. Now, is this going to happen today? I'm not sure, but there's a good chance of this happening this week. That's what I'm preparing for, for this to happen this week. And then we can see what happens after we hit those targets. Moving over to Bitcoin. Bitcoin as well is looking like it wants to retest the previous high. Now it's finally broken out of, or it's broken past the resistance resistance of 38k just over here. This was a very important level. It was not able to break past this over here. As you can see, it whipped but got rejected. It's broken past that now and it's, it's using it as support. So I think now that it's using it as support, if it can maintain the support, then we can see a retest of 40k and then make new highs. There's a good chance this could happen this week. However, because it is altcoin season, perhaps it may just do a bit of sideways movement. We'll have to see throughout this week. But the fact that it's using this as support is definitely a good sign. Perhaps there's also a trend line in play as well. Yeah, there you go. So there's a trend line in play as well, which is respected three times now. If we can if it can continue to go up and respect this trend line again that's more more support for it to carry on but the main thing now of course is it needs to break that 40k 
k or 41k level as you can see here it was resistance before so that's why hence why there was a lot of selling uh, going on when it hit that level again so it might hit that and it might start creating like a an ascending um triangle let's keep a watch on that as it as it continues another crypto i wanted to look at quickly was polka dot now the market is booming which is very very good to see um polka dot yesterday i did mention that i was a bit hesitant at what i was seeing over here it didn't quite explode to the upside as it did previously so there was still bears that were in control but i also th said the the second thing i could see was this could potentially be a flag like structure or a wedge pattern which you see as a as a a pause between the rally and its continuation so this this is what i said was the potential second scenario and this is exactly what's happened perhaps if we look at the um four hourly we can see a clearer picture so you can see a clearer picture over here it does look like somewhat of a of a flag flag like structure or a wedge perhaps and it's broken out to the upside so we could potentially see some really uh, explosive gains once again now my target for polka dot this week or from this breakout is definitely the continuation of this fibonacci so that would be 24 to 25 dollars it's respected it so far it did not actually hit the 50 percent, but that's a good thing as long as it doesn't close below it that was what the it, it's looking like an ascending same as a, a inverted ascending scallop but not quite as beautifully formed as this so that's why this 50 percent level was very important and it did not get close to that so the targets for this is definitely 24 to 25 and then after that we will see this trend line i think will be important as time goes on we might may see an explosive move to the upside but as long as it keeps respecting this trend line that's a very positive indication when we finally break it we may see a protracted correction with Polkadot, which will be due at some point, potentially at the end of this month, maybe beginning of March, as what happened in the previous bull run. So we'll see as it goes on. As mentioned in the private Telegram group, I am looking at Ocean. I said this morning that it's potential that we could see a further break to the upside. Uh, it's really respected these levels beautifully and this is a ripe to continue on going higher towards that dollar level and the rest of the market is pretty much in the green the one thing i'm looking at as well is the fact that we are almost above the previous all-time how we did breach it but we have not closed above it decisively so when that happens it will i think it will happen this month a proper push past it and then we'll get into the 500 billion and beyond so don't FOMO in there's still time to invest in these coins there's going to be further altcoin season in the in the coming weeks so there's still a little bit of time try your best not to FOMO in I've made that mistake tons of times even during this bull run a few times I've FOMO'd in but we have to try to resist the urges because it never works out in the end so I hope you got some value from this video that's going to be all for that so see you in the next video. Peace.